Let's learn how to say coal and core in American English. If your tongue isn't strong enough to say the L, coal will likely sound like coal, coal. And then everyone will be confused. Instead, we need to add a W between the O and the L, and also a schwa or short U in front of the L. So instead of coal, it'll be coal, coal. Notice that my lips are very round for the O, co. But my lips will get even rounder and more forward for the W. Watch this. Coal. Watch from the side. Coal. Did you see how my lips grew forward? We need the W to connect the back vowel O to the next vowel, which is the schwa. We put a schwa or short U in front of the L to make the L more noticeable. This will be the most noticeable at the end of a phrase where we need to show the intonation and really stress a word. I want to buy some coal. Here, I stressed the word coal because it was at the end of my sentence. I was able to go up on co and down on wall. Up on co, down on wall. I want to buy some coal. I could go up on the co and down on the wall. I had a lot of energy on co and I relaxed on wall. Make sure you say it all in one breath of air. Coal. I want to buy some coal. The air is exiting my mouth at a constant rate. I'm not saying coal. I'm saying coal. Also, I don't want the two parts of the word to be sharply contrasted. It's not coal, like a sharp mountain peak. No, not coal. It's more rounded, like coal. Suppose the word is not at the end of a phrase. What if the word is coal miner? Now, coal is more important than miner. But because I'm going to go down on the word minor, I'm going to have to say coal a whole lot more quickly. I'm still going to have the two parts. I'm still going to say the W and I'm still going to have the schwa, but it's going to be a lot faster and less noticeable. So it's not coal miner, it's coal miner. If you don't do that, it'll sound like coal miner. To make the dark L at the end of coal, it's a little bit different than making the clear L that we have at the beginning of light. With light, the tip of my tongue touches the tooth ridge at the top of my mouth. But with coal, that doesn't happen. Instead, try getting a clean pencil and putting it in your mouth. I'm going to rest the pencil on top of my bottom teeth. And then I'm going to use my tongue to push up on this pencil. When I push up on the pencil, my tongue will make a lot of tension. It'll be very tense. That's the tension that I want in the dark L. Oh, I'm really pushing up on that pencil. Now I'm going to imagine that the pencil's still in my mouth and have the same amount of tension in my tongue. Cool. At the same time, feel somewhere between your chin and your throat. Oh, there should be something popping out. That's the back of your tongue working really hard to make the dark L. Oh, at the same time, your throat won't be relaxed. It'll feel rather tense. There won't be much space behind your tongue either. Oh. If you're not used to making the dark L sound, your tongue is going to get tired, and that's totally normal. When you want your arms to get stronger, you go to the gym every day. Well, when you want your tongue to get stronger for the dark L, you need to practice the dark L every day. Also, let's talk about the volume and pitch of the word coal. So I said that the first part, co, has more energy. It's also higher in pitch, co. 
And the second part, wall, going into the dark L, actually relaxes and sinks into my chest. Coal. So make sure the wall part is really low. What if I want to say the word coal? How is that different from coal? Listen, coal, cold, coal, cold. How did I make that D? This is a hell D. I make the hell D by starting to swallow or cutting off my air supply. As soon as I stop breathing, cold, that sudden stop will give the feeling that we just made a D. Try it. Coal. That L sound kind of continues. Coal. But when I add the D, there's a feeling of sudden stopping. Cold. Great. Now, what if I want to say core instead of coal? I'm going to have an R instead of an L. What's the same and what's different? Again, you're going to make a very clear CO with rounded lips. You'll still have a W, but instead of UL, you'll have ER. The worm ate through the apple's core. To make the ER, pinch the corners of your lips together. This is going to make your mouth very narrow, very small. Then pull your tongue straight backward like you're going to swallow it. Er. This takes a lot of muscle work in your tongue. Again, you have to go to the gym for your tongue. Work out that er. Pull your tongue backward as far as it'll go. It'll get easier if you practice. Now, when you pull your tongue backward, the sides of your tongue are going to touch the inside edges of your upper molars. Wow, that's weird. Er, I can feel my tongue touching the top teeth. Er, and they can easily touch the top teeth because I made my mouth so narrow. Now let's put it in the word. Core, core. So let's contrast the two words we've learned. Coal, core, coal. Core. You can also say cord. Just stop exhaling. Cord. Coal. Core. Cold. Cord. Coal. Cold. Core. Cord. Find more words like this and practice audio in the description of this video.